How's it going everybody? My name's Jake the Bowler and welcome back to my channel. Today we begin a brand new series called Pattern Play. Now if you haven't deduced what this series is going to be about by the name of the series, well let me give you a little bit of a description of it. So in Pattern Play I will be setting down sports shots at my home lanes of King Lanes and talking you through my process on how to figure out and how I would tackle these patterns. You know, I, I will tell you what balls I would use, what uh, marks I would try to hit, how I would transition in a night, and just overall my experience on how to uh, tame these wild beasts known as sports patterns. But before we jump into the first episode of Pattern Play, here's a little disclaimer for everyone. This will not be a perfect representation of how these patterns should be played. There are two other variables that will dictate how these patterns progress throughout a night and how they play initially. One is the topography of the lane, and two is the lane surface. Now these two are things that will not vary greatly in my videos unless I go to a different house and have them put down these patterns. This is solely meant to be my experience on this pattern, and I'm just trying to give you some information that would help you in those circumstances. So, today's episode of Pattern Play, the first ever one of Pattern Play, is going to be on a pattern that I have actually already done a video on, but not this kind of video. I actually did a uh, ball review on this for the Idle Pro. This is the PBA Marshall Holman 37 foot pattern. Now, this pattern is difficult and it is a shorter pattern. So, it typically leans to being uh, a little bit more difficult to non-experienced players because they don't really know how to keep their ball from overhooking or if they get it too far outside how to make it so you have that bump room so it does come back nicely. Now me, I've been bowling for quite a few years and this is actually the first short pattern that I've felt really comfortable on. I, I've done a lot of uh, work up to this point to figure out what ball motions would work best on this pattern, and I'm here to show you my experience and how I figured it out. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the lanes where I'm going to actually speak to you as you watch me bowl, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my thought process and why I chose the specific balls that I did at that point. So. Let's go. All right. So jumping right into it here, uh, the first ball that I pulled out of my bag was my benchmark ball, and that was the Idle Pro. Now the Idle Pro for me has given me such a smooth and you know clean reaction off the friction, no matter the pattern that I've thrown it on. Uh, I can pull this thing out on house, on sports shots, uh, you know, short, medium, long, anything, and it's given me a very reliable uh, and continuous motion. Um, but on this pattern, it actually started to work against me. Now, you normally would want a smoother and cleaner reaction on this kind of pattern, but I don't know if it was the cliff uh, that just got too bad, but my ball actually started to roll out and didn't get back to the pocket as well as I needed. So I ended up making a ball change to my uh, Quantum Forest Green Solid, which is also a symmetric solid like the Auto Pro. But this one I have drilled pinned down, and it gave me just a little bit better bounce off of the friction than the Idle Pro was giving me. Um, so I could stay in this ball for a little bit, uh, so long as I didn't pull it left like I did on that shot. Uh, and it would just be a good ball for me to stay in through a majority of a block. Um, now, I did not have a whole lot of... Uh, uh, transition on the lane mainly because it was just me and one other person bowling at this point um, and yes that person was a right-hander but they were not a high rev or you know high speed bowler and they weren't really using high performance equipment um, so I know the transition uh, in an actual tournament setting would be a lot different um, so at that point I would have probably switched back to the idle pro just because there would have probably been a little bit of push down and a little bit of hold that would have kept my ball on a good path. But uh, in this scenario, I stuck with my forest green solid. 
until it started to bounce a little bit too much and I felt a little uncomfortable with the amount of uh, hook that it started to give me. So I ended up switching to my next ball that I'll show here in this next clip. Uh, it is the Hyper Self Fused. Now, I have not thrown this ball a whole lot. Uh, it is an asymmetrical hybrid uh, from Rotogrip. And I, I didn't actually know how this ball was going to react, but it actually ended up being a perfect uh, stepping stone uh, well, as my next ball coming off of the uh, forest green solid. Uh, it provided a little bit more length than the uh, pin down solid did, but it also held the same amount of energy going through the pins. Its conservation was uh, a lot, and it was very strong. Now, I did leave a couple uh, corner pins. A lot of that was me trying to get the roll right on this ball, just because it really wasn't drilled for me. Um, it was drilled for my friend Chansey, who uh, his PAP is a little different, so I often overpowered the ball. But when I did match where his normally would be, you can see that it had a very clean and very, very powerful reaction through the pin deck. Uh, and I ended up finishing out my practice session with this ball just because it gave me that wiggle room that I needed and wanted on this pattern. And I really, really enjoyed this pattern. It was fun. I would probably follow my steps that I did here uh, in a tournament setting, but I'm going to have to end it here. And welcome back. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. It means so much. And I hope that the information that I pass on to you guys will help you in your next venture on a short pattern or this pattern in particular. It's, it means a lot to me that I've gotten all the support that I have, and I cannot wait to see where the channel goes, because as always, I'm going to ask, if you liked what you saw, if it helped you at all, please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, it means a lot and helps me out, and share with your friends if you uh, believe that my information could help them in any capacity. But, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I have been Jake the Bowler. Thank you for watching Pattern Play, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!